Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're diving into a crucial topic that is recognizing the telltale signs of a bad oxygen sensor. An oxygen sensor keeps your car running smoothly by monitoring exhaust oxygen levels and helping adjust the air fuel ratio. Your engine usually has two oxygen sensors. One is upstream of a catalytic converter and other is the downstream. In this video, our focus is on the first one as this sensor is responsible for maintaining the air fuel ratio for the combustion mixture. Over time, the oxygen sensor can get contaminated and cease to perform its duties properly, leading to frustrating performance issues. When the oxygen sensor becomes bad, it would cause a rich or lean air fuel mixture. Keeping this in mind, I'll walk you through the key symptoms of a bad oxygen sensor, what causes oxygen sensor failure, and how to diagnose a faulty oxygen sensor. Let's not waste any more time and jump right in. Symptom number one, poor fuel economy. One of the earliest signs of a failing oxygen sensor is a dip in your gas mileage. As the sensor's accuracy diminishes, it can't measure the accurate amount of oxygen in exhaust gases. As a result, the ECU will not be able to determine how much fuel needs to be injected for efficient combustion. Your engine struggles to maintain the perfect air fuel ratio, causing it to consume more fuel than necessary. You'll notice a significant drop in your miles per gallon. Symptom number two, rough idle. Think of your engine as a finely tuned symphony. It requires precise timing and balance to maintain a smooth and consistent idle. When a malfunctioning oxygen sensor disrupts the engine's ability to adjust the air-fuel ratio properly, it's like having a musician out of tune. The result? You'll feel this when you're stopped at red lights with your engine hesitating and vibrating. Symptom number three, hesitation, or lack of power. Pressing the gas pedal to accelerate smoothly could be a frustrating experience with a problematic oxygen sensor. When it's not delivering accurate data to the engine's computer, the engine computer doesn't know the right balance of air and fuel to maintain the perfect combustion ratio. This often leads to an overly lean or rich air-fuel mixture, and here's where the problem begins. It will affect combustion efficiency. As a result, your vehicle may sputter and lurch instead of providing a smooth acceleration. You'll notice these performance issues most when you're trying to accelerate quickly. Symptom number four, failed emissions test. If too much fuel is injected into the engine due to an incorrect oxygen level reading by a bad oxygen sensor, the excess fuel will pass into the catalytic converter, which cannot fully process the extra fuel. This causes emissions to be higher than the limit as the catalytic converter is overloaded by the additional fuel it cannot break down effectively. This will lead to a failed emissions test. Symptom number five, rotten egg smell. Another unpleasant consequence of a malfunctioning oxygen sensor is the foul odor of rotten eggs emanating from your exhaust. This is a result of unburnt fuel passing through the exhaust due to incorrect sensor readings. It happens when a rich air fuel mixture caused by a bad oxygen sensor leads to an incomplete combustion within the engine. The sulfur in the fuel creates this unpleasant odor. Symptom number six, flashing check engine light. A flashing check engine light is a red flag signaling a serious issue, such as a completely failed oxygen sensor. However, Several other common failed mechanical or electrical components in your engine can result in too much or too little air or fuel in the air-fuel mixture. If you are driving the high mileage vehicle, the oxygen sensor is to blame. To pinpoint the exact issue, you'll need to plug in an OBD2 scanner and read the codes. Now, let's explore the culprits behind oxygen sensor degradation and failure. Cause number one, age and mileage. Over time, oxygen sensors naturally wear out with most needing replacement between 60,000 to 100,000 miles. Cause number two, oil contamination. Leaking oil can deposit contaminants on the oxygen sensor, interfering with its readings and performance. Cause number three, leaded gasoline and fuel additives. Using leaded gasoline or fuels with additives like zinc and phosphorus can foul the sensor over time. Cause number four, electrical damage. Poor wiring connections of the oxygen sensor or improper sensor installation can disrupt the sensor's signal. Cause number five, excessive exhaust heat. High exhaust temperatures can damage the sensor or its wiring harness, causing it to malfunction. If you suspect an oxygen sensor is the culprit, you can use an OBD2 scanner to check for diagnostic trouble codes related to the O2 sensors, such as P0130 through P0167. A check engine light that stays on steady or flashes indicates a problem with the oxygen sensor or a related component. Next, you can use a multimeter to measure the sensor's signal voltage Abnormal readings outside the 0.1 to 0.9 volt range are a red flag. Also, use a live data scanner to monitor the oxygen sensor in real time. Look for slow response times or stuck signal values that don't change. Lastly, check for exhaust leaks before the oxygen sensor, as they can lead to erroneous readings. 
Now, you might be wondering, should you clean or replace the oxygen sensor? While it is possible to clean an oxygen sensor, extreme heat can turn any organic matter, such as gasoline or oil, into carbon, which can cause the sensor to malfunction. Also, the internal oxygen sensor components are not accessible for cleaning. Due to this reason, cleaning the oxygen sensor may not restore its accuracy, and there are no guarantees that it will work as well as a new sensor. Therefore, it is generally recommended to replace the oxygen sensor if it is not functioning properly. Alright guys, that covers the major symptoms of a bad oxygen sensor, potential causes of failure, and steps to properly diagnose issues. Thanks for tuning in, and if you want a more detailed explanation, you'll find a link to my article in the video description. Let me know if you have any other questions, and be sure to like and subscribe for more auto repair tips. Thanks for watching.